It's almost two years exactly since we put up our Istabreeze wind turbine for the very first time using a DIY hand winch made out of an old car brake disc and some steel cable. It was risky, but it worked. After 12 months of operation, we took the turbine down for some maintenance and repairs. That turbine, however, has stayed down for a further 12 months as we didn't want to go through that risky procedure again without having a proper lift system in place. So for this project guys, I'm building that lift system, getting the turbine back up, but more importantly for you folks out there who would like to have your own turbine but maybe aren't so sure of everything that's involved, I'm also going to cover all the equipment and infrastructure you'll need as well as the total cost of the whole project so you guys will know exactly what you're doing from day one. For this foundation I started off by putting in five bags of ready mix cement just to put down a base layer. I then put in the frame, lined it up with the mast and leveled it um, before filling the hole with as many big rocks and boulders as I could find. The price of cement on a job like this adds up pretty quick, but big old rocks and boulders you find around the woods, well, they're free. So I put all them in and then added 10 more bags of ready mix. I then went and I filled in all the gaps with as much aggregate as I could find. So it's now leveled off and I've got 10 more bags to put in and I'm hoping that that will be that. But even as it is at the moment, our frame is solid and it can't go anywhere. The hoist I'm using for this project is a 220 to 240 volt capable of lifting up to 900 kilos and it's made by this company here. It comes with a couple of extra straps, a few bits and bobs, bolts and the whole lot and a 10 foot uh, cable on the operation switch. Now this costs a total of 129 euros and I have bought products from this company before with mixed results. If you go back through our videos you'll find the buyer beware chicken run which is the last product we bought from these. So I have mixed hopes for this but we'll get it onto the frame and see does it work. The hoist itself is being powered by the All Powers R1500. It's easy just to carry it in and out and it can run the winch multiple times no problem. Right, so time to do a test lift. My apologies, by the way, for any wind noise on the microphone. I guarantee you, as soon as this turbine goes up, that wind will stop. It's like if you're having a dry spell and you want it to rain. Go wash your car. Guaranteed it'll rain soon enough. Okay, let's go. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Now, I usually have to do a little bit of guiding here at the end. It's coming up pretty quick, though. That's looking good. You see the slack come off it now. There it is. That's it. That was nice and soft, wasn't it? All the way back down again. Onto its rest. It pulled the mast up and down reasonably well, which is good news. But it's going to be very different with the weight of the generator. Six meters over there on the end. So go ahead, fit the turbine, and more importantly, get some help from the boss. So, Hon, what do you think of this wind turbine? I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's the scariest thing ever. Yeah, why is that? When that thing starts spinning up, you can actually like hear it through the house, yeah. you know, and the dog freaks out. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> it's the scariest thing ever. All I, can, I have literally panic attacks that the blade is going to come off, come in through the window, um, that is going to tear the whole wall down, that will come out one day and it'll literally be in the field. I hate it. It's the scariest thing. Whenever that thing starts spinning up, it's like, oh, good God. Oh, valid concerns, I suppose, considering I built half of it. It's so scary. It's so scary. Good? A little more than that. Alright. Alright. Do you want to go down the end and see what it looks like? Not that end. Until the blades clear the wall. Ooh. Now the blades are clearing the wall. Can I let go? Guide it like I said to. Guide it gently. Guide it gently. Guide it gently. Make sure the blades don't hit at them. Guide it gently. There you go. There you go. Oh, That wind is doing to it. That wind is shaking the mast a lot, isn't it? Okay, look, it's either going to go perfectly or it'll go horribly wrong, so let's just do it. Here we go. Here we go. 
Come on, Betsy. Up we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right, start hammering through. Right, tap that through the rest of the way, please and thank you. Okay, on the ball. Good job. Well, so what do you think? Did you stand on it? Stand on what? Well, there's like a brown spot up there on, on the black. Oh, that's from the wood. Oh, okay, gotcha. Not me yeah. stand, that stand. <laughs> so now that it's up, how do you feel about it? Oh, it's moving! <laughs> <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> While Chloe comes to terms with the turbine all over again, I'm going to unbridge the three wires, which was keeping the brake on, and put it back into the control unit. And hopefully, when the three wires release, if everything's running okay, the turbine should start spinning up. So, so the brake's not stuck on, which is good. We're starting to get some power readings now. Just two amps, 0.6 of an amp. System slowly coming to life. Okay, so if you're watching this and you'd like to set up your own wind turbine at home, here's what you need to know. First of all, you'll need the turbine itself. Ista Breeze do make good quality turbines, but like all machines, they need to be taken down for maintenance like once a year or so. Just bearings, maybe a slip ring, few little bits and pieces. They're not expensive. I'll talk about that in a minute. You'll also need a control unit because the generator inside the turbine produces AC electricity. However, it's not suitable to be connected to the mains because it's wild AC, it fluctuates up and down, and it's usually around maybe less than 80 volts. It's nothing like the mains would use, so you can't plug them directly in. You will need a battery bank, and that battery bank is going to be a DC direct current, and that's what the control unit does. It rectifies the current across to DC and charges up the batteries. From those batteries then, you will be able to use an inverter, something like that, to run your appliances. So basically the wind turbine makes the power, sends it to the batteries where it's stored, and from there you can use an inverter then to actually turn it into usable mains electricity. Right, the next thing you'll need then is the mast to mount the turbine onto. While a lot of the companies do supply masts as well, a lot of guys like myself prefer to build our own because we can make them stronger. And I'd suggest that you do this as well. So the big question then of how much is something like this gonna cost you? Okay, well the i1500 cost 1,400 euros two years ago when we first bought it. Price might have changed since. If you go to Istabriz's website, you'll be able to look that up yourself. The mast that it's sitting on was somewhere in the region of 200 euros because I bought the metal from Chadwick's Builders Providers and built it myself. The foundation and subframe that that sits onto, the subframe costs nothing because I built it from scrap parts. If you're building your own subframe, you'll have to figure out that cost yourself. The foundation on its own, um, cost about 500 euros in cement and bits and bobs that go with it. The winch to lift it all was 129 euros and the frame that it sits onto was about 106 euros. The foundation for that winch again was about another 500 euros for the cement and I managed to save a few bob there using big boulders and aggregate and filling it up with as much as I could. After that then you need a control unit to control the whole thing and rectify it from AC into DC and charge up your battery bank. The control unit we have there was about 346 euros, I think, at the time. However, I'd recommend getting a better one than that because that one does have its issues and we're going to also be upgrading in the near future. So for this whole setup that you see here, it's cost us so far about 3,000 euros and that also includes the repair parts that were needed for the Istabreeze after its first year of service. Since recording, I've checked online and Istabreeze now do an i1500 kit with the mast, control unit and the turbine itself for less than a thousand euros. So what do you think? You'll be able to get used to it again? No. Well no? look, that's it, keeping the system propped up. So the next thing to do now is set up that stand so that when we drop it down, it can operate in a storm. That's the next thing. It sounds like we're on the beach. It's lovely, isn't it? No. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> anyway, okay, and then of course we have to get this yoke back up and running again with a new battery bank, which we will be coming with in the near future, so stay tuned. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!